Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure is we're going to be traveling to Mechagon City, the starting allied race for um, the uh, Alliance. And uh, we're going to be jumping through the portal and uh, we're going to get out of bounds and see what's exactly outside the starting zone um, of the allied race. But uh, before we begin, I'm going to be doing something a little different today. I'm going to be making the video a little shorter. A lot of people have complained in the past that I talk too much. <laughs> and I know I do. I talk a lot. And, uh, you know, it's always been about the adventure. But I do want to start shortening up my videos a little more and give you guys a little bit of a break from my voice every five seconds. Uh, so I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting the video up into just more like a highlight reel. And to see how that goes and see if you guys enjoy that a lot better. Maybe get down the video to around 10 to 15 minutes and uh, we'll just go from there. So I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to always do the introduction first. Then I will do the uh, OOB or escape part and then I'll do some highlights around the map and what we're going to find. So come and join me as we go into the Allied City Race for uh, Mechagon City. All right, so as you can see, we are here right in the beginning area of where the Mecha Gnomes or the Mecha Race or whatever you want to call them, where they start. And have you guys ever wondered what's exactly out of bounds? Because this place is absolutely massive and you can see that there is a lot to see actually out here. But what's really interesting is that uh, when you come out here, they um, a lot of this. So I've actually been out of bounds one other time and all of this right here is all smoke and mirrors. So what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be placing a pillow down like right around the edge here. Really simple right here. And then once we click the pillow, it will get out of bounds and we're going to fly out that way. So check this out. Let's do it together. So we're going to hide our HUD. We're going to get on the pillow and we're just going to head out this way. So all these structures out here, you'll actually fly through and we want to fly out this way because we're going to go see what's exactly out here. So as you can see, there's we're actually already in water, <laughs> which is really interesting. So uh, when we get in the water, we're just going to want to mount up. So we're going to get on one of our water mounts and we're just going to head straight up to the surface. We may DC. Uh, so let's be careful here. And just keep heading up, keep heading up, keep heading up till we reach the surface. And you guys may be wondering, water? What the heck is water doing out here? And there we go. So as you guys can see, we are actually in the on top of the surface now. So that has had to escape the uh, Mecha Gnome starting zone. So let's go take a look at some highlights around the area. Okay, one of the things I want to point out right away is if you actually come to the back side of the island of where we swam up right over here, you can see that all the water is actually deloaded on this side. So there's nothing here. I mean, you can just see the island. Normally, you can't see all this. And if we actually make our way up here, we are actually on Mechagon Island in the BFA expansion. And it's just like a um, basically like a loaded scenario version of it. So when we come out here, when we come over the hill, you can see all of Mechagon Island is actually here, which is really awesome. And uh, I didn't didn't expect that out here. So you can see that in the distance, uh, the BFA islands or anything like that doesn't actually exist. And what's also awesome is you can freely mount up up here as well. And you can see in the distance that all the BFA expansion doesn't exist. So we're just on like an instance scenario version of Mechagon Island and all of the starting zone just lives right underneath it. So pretty cool. All right, we're going to make our way down here. And normally uh, there's actually these boundary walls that stop us. So uh, we actually ran into one of them. And you can normally just come out to, you know, here to the top, but uh, we're actually getting stopped by a wall already. 
There we go. And then we're just going to fly straight down here. And we're actually going to use another pillow and we're going to get back and bounce here. And there we go. And you're freely to explore all of the uh, Mechagon Isle here. And you can see, look at the entrance is gone over here, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Because normally you're not supposed to be out here. But usually there's a doorway there. So I thought that was kind of neat that it's missing. And you can tell we're nowhere to be found underground because we're up above. So I'm going to go run around here for just a minute and give you guys a little bit of a view of what's actually here. Oh, we're hitting another wall. One thing that they do keep outside of the boundaries, they do keep the caves out here. And sometimes you got to be careful with caves. For those of you that are new to Out of Bounds or coming new to the channel, thank you for coming. <laughs> but uh, if you're wanting to do Out of Bounds, one of my warnings to new Out of Bounds adventures is to be careful with caves because Blizzard doesn't normally load the caves in. So just be careful if you're going to be going into them. Sometimes you'll go underground or you'll go into a cave and it's not fully rendered or it's not fully loaded and you'll go into it and you'll just DC and then you'll have to, um, you know, get yourself unstuck or open up sport ticket unless you're lucky and you can load back in and get back out. But you can see all the caves here. And a lot of them are fully enterable. So this one, I'm going to be careful over here because it does look like it's going underground. But as you can tell, all the water's unloaded. And like this cave, I would be careful. But we did go into here and it is playing the music. So, so this one is fully walkable and enterable, enterable, I should say as well. And I love that the music just comes up and then disappears. And if we come up here. Oh, okay. This is actually stopping us. So we're not supposed to be going back here, but you know, that doesn't stop us. We can just place another pillow. Jump on it. And there we go. We're back out of bounds again. And if we come up here, we can see that they do have another cave. And you can go fully back here and explore. So pretty awesome, but I do love that they keep the caves here. As we make our way up to the top of Mechagon, of the island, we can see that uh, they do keep like basically the whole map up here for the most part. They give like this illusion that you're actually out in the middle of the ocean because you're never supposed to be up here to begin with that I know of, right? Um, I haven't actually played the Mechagon Allied Race. I, oh, I think I started one and I didn't really explore much. But as you can see, if you come up here all the way to the top, see the world just ends right over there. Another thing I wanted to show real quick is I love this underground shot of uh, being below the planter pots. I love the flowers underneath. It's pretty neat. <laughs> I'm just like sticking my face to the wall here. If you stay along the edge on the outer part here, you can actually swim all around the map, which is really awesome. I thought for sure we would DC out here, but... Oh, I fell. Okay, do be careful going too far out. All right, cool. We're going to land back in. There we go. But yeah, you can actually swim all outside the map there and uh, it will allow you to see the whole city and see the parts here. So something funny when I was uh, doing my exploration out of bounds, you never know who you're going to run into or meet. Um, this person was exploring Mechagon City and they actually had invited me to their group because they were looking for their friend because their friend was actually in a phased version of the map 
So we exit out of Mechagon City, we came back in, and we were able to see their friend again, so... <laughs> I got to add him on my friends list, so... I've never actually met them, but uh, thank you guys for being part of the video, Adu, and uh, this is Moon Priest, so... But uh, if we come out here, we actually get a really awesome shot of the underground here. Because we're actually below water, so we're able to go in and out of the map easily. And you can see all of Mechagon City right over here. And then this is all kind of just like a smoke and mirrors effect. Um, you'll just go straight through the map and drop down there, unfortunately. So I don't think we can actually go explore this area. But I do love this shot where you're kind of underwater, but you're kind of not. And I don't know, it's kind of a weird trippy look here. I'm kind of just floating here in mid-space. So yeah, guys, that is what's outside of the Allied starting race for the Mechagon City. Um, it's pretty awesome. And uh, can't wait to get this video up. And uh, thank you everybody for always joining in on the videos. I appreciate every single one of you. You all are amazing. And um, as always, my name is Nathan. I will catch you on the next one. Take care.